Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2Z0IQJ. So this week's video, I'm going to show you how you can receive the ISS repeater. That's right, there's a repeater on board the International Space Station and we're going to receive it in this video. Now you can receive anything that's capable of receiving a 70 centimetre band. So that's 4, 3, uh, 430 megs to 440 megahertz. You don't even need a special antenna. We're going to be using, in this example, the Retivis RT85 and just a stock antenna across there. You can use a bio thing, a scanner, anything you've got that's capable of receiving the 70 centimetre band. Now on my iPhone I use an app called Go ISS Watch. This allows me to find out when the space station is coming over. It came over this morning, it was on a Sunday when I was recording this, around about 9.24. Before I, need, before I could go out and receive it, I needed to program the radio. And all you need to do is, on your radio, type in a frequency 437 800. You can see there, if you can see it, I've got a frequency program in 437800 and I drop the squelch. Now you can adjust it for a Doppler effect, so you might start off on 437810 and then go down to 800 and then go down to 790 and so on. So let's go out on location and see if we can receive the uh, repeater aboard the ISS space station. Okay, we are on location, the radio is set, let's see if we can hear anything from the repeater. We heard something from there and we don't need a big aerial. We're just using the stock antenna on the radio. There we go, somebody else coming through. Bye bye, Charlie, love you, love CQ. Someone's called CQ. That was a German station from the phone on the repeater. Club uniform tango. Echo Alpha 5, India Yankee Lima, Golf 6, uniform Sierra Tango. You're 5 and 9, Italy Oscar 92, QSL. So there we go, we've just received the International Space Station uh, Amateur Radio Repeater, which is on board the, the space station. I used the Retivis RT85 as an example. I said earlier in the video, you can use any radio that's capable of receiving 70 centimetres, a scanner, bio thing, and so on. Now, if you want to work the space station repeater, obviously you need to be a licensed ham, and you probably need a better antenna than just a little stock rubber duck. You need like an arrow antenna. I'll have to try that at some point, try and work it using the um, our antenna and just a 5 watts with this radio. Anyhow, I'd say give it, give it a try, it's nice and simple to receive, just do 437800, drop the squelch and then just we got a radio about, although this morning it was so high up, I didn't need to worry, it was so high passing, I didn't need to worry about any of that, I just literally typed in the frequency and I was good to go. So if you found the video some use and what to do, give it a thumbs up, if you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching this video, this is 2E0 IQJ. 7-3 for now.